Hi, I'm Krista with Bella Canvas. Today we're at DTLA Print to do a deep dive into sublimation printing and show you some awesome effects you can get on some of our different poly blends. Sublimation works best on garments with 50% polyester or more, so today we're going to do some testing on our poly viscose, slub, and tri blend. So Michael, can you explain the process of sublimation for us? Absolutely. Sublimation is printed on paper first. The ink from the paper actually turns into a gas with enough heat and pressure and actually sublimates onto the synthetic or poly part of the fabric. Sublimation only uses cyan, magenta, yellow, black. So the white or lighter colors is often used as negative space, which actually creates pretty cool effects. We have some paper in between each shirt. What is this used for? We put this paper inside. It's not mandatory. It creates a cleaner print. Sometimes on thinner fabrics, the ink can actually pass through to the other side. So if you're only doing a front, you might get a little residue on the back. We're going to start off with our poly viscose. This is actually a new style to our line. The content for this is 65% poly, 35% viscose, so, it's a, so it has a high content of polyester. So what print do you think we should do on this style? Right now, all over prints are really in. I think that would be perfect for this. It would work great. All over print, top to bottom, sleeve to sleeve. Awesome, I'm excited. Let's go do it. Let's do it. So we like to give it a 10 second press just to flatten the shirt, get any wrinkles out of it. You know, it's like a, basically a, a giant iron. It's gonna go in, just give it 10 seconds. Now we have a, a flattened shirt. So you're gonna get a much nicer print here. So take the paper. You wanna just make sure you're grabbing all the seams. And, you know, we're just gonna wait 30 seconds. But now that we take it off, th that first pre-press, a lot of times you'll see a lot of inconsistencies around the seams, the armpits, the necks. That first 10 second press really gives you a better product. So this looks awesome. I really love it on our white. I'm excited to see it on our Heather Stone. Let's do one. Yeah. Oh, that looks so cool. Next, we're going to do our slub. Uh, this content is 50% polyester, 37.5% cotton, 12.5% rayon. So it'll definitely work for sublimation. What print do you think we should do on this fabric? So the slub really gives a unique effect to the print. You get a lot more highs and lows. I would probably do a, a vintage print. I think that would turn out really nicely. So why vintage print on the slub? Since you're not doing 100% poly, automatically you're going to get a vintage effect looking. You know, print to it, it's only sticking to 50% of the poly. The right. higher the poly, the more vibrant the image is going to be. And of course, the, the lower the poly, the, the more vintage it's going to look. Right. You know, it's going to look like it's been washed 20, 30 times, which people love. Well, I personally love a vintage print, so I'm excited to see what this is going to look like. So let's go do it. Yeah. So I see that you didn't leave the slub in as long as you left the poly viscose in. Is there a reason for that? Each fabric you're going to want to test temperature and time. You're each going to have a little bit of a different reaction to that. Oh, that looks great! This fabric really pairs well with the vintage picture. It's awesome. So next we're going to do our tri-blends. We're really known for our tri-blends. We have the most color offerings in the industry and this fabric is actually offered in about 20 styles across our line. And this is the raw neck, which is new to our fast fashion collection. So what print do you think we should do on this fabric? I think a more colorful print, you know, you, you have the white, you can go bright. You know, I think a print like this would turn out really nicely on that. Another reason I would use a vibrant print like this, the blend of this fabric, of this eye blend, is automatically going to dull it down, give it that vintage effect again. So you want to go with a more vibrant because you're automatically going to get a vintage print with it. If right. you were to start out with a vintage, it might be a little bit too low, you know, so you just want to let the fabric do its thing. This is my favorite design. Yeah, sure. I love this design with the palm trees. So what temperature are we going to have the tri blends going for? This one's going to be at, at around 400 degrees Fahrenheit, about 25 seconds. You'll actually, you'll actually see, depending where the poly, the cotton, the rayon is in the fabric, it's going to each pick up the color a little bit more. Automatically, you're going to get some variances and some uniqueness to each print. Let's see what we got. That looks great. You can see the blues, the greens. And I mean, the detail, you'll never get that in screen printing. Screen printing uses up to a 350 mesh count, which is actually 350 little meshes per inch, per mm -hmm. square inch. With sublimation, you're at a much higher rate. 
So it's, it's really a, a digital print direct to the garment. This print looks like it's actually a part of the shirt, which I think is so cool. It is. Actually, these fabrics are now dyed with those inks. As the sublimation turned into a gas, they actually turned back into a solid on the fabric. So this turned out awesome. This is our vintage looking Los Angeles print on our unisex Ronex tee. Michael, thank you so much for having us in today. We learned so much about sublimation on all of our different poly blends, and I'm excited for us to do more videos with you. You guys are always welcome here. Love working with you guys and love the styles you're coming out with. If you want to stay tuned to what Michael's up to, follow them on DTLA Print on Instagram. And you can always follow us on our Instagram, Facebook, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a ton more content coming your way. Thank you.